Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And as a lot of you know, I generally tend to use Android phones more often, uh, but here is my iPhone 7 Plus and the iOS 11 public beta has came out and I went ahead and installed it on this device. I figured I'd give it a try. Maybe I would like iOS more. So I want to talk about some of the new features in this beta. I don't want to talk about all of them, just some of the main ones, and also give some of my impressions coming from someone that doesn't generally use the iPhone very often. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now I have the iPhone 7 Plus right here. However, I do want to make note that iOS 11 is compatible all the way back down to the iPhone 5S. So that's some uh, pretty good support in terms of updates from Apple, so I do have to commend them on that. Throughout the video, make note of some various things, such as animations changing and the looks. You'll see these buttons look a little bit different as well. And just overall, some of the animations, including some app opening animations. You'll see when I go to my recent apps. And just throughout the video, make note of them. Now, you may have already seen it on my Instagram, but I did decide to go with this awesome retro skin for my iPhone 7 Plus. This is from Slick Wraps. I will link to it down below. Definitely a really good looking skin that I've gotten a good amount of compliments from people so far. So one of the first things I want to talk about is notifications in general because as you know one of the biggest gripes I have about iOS in general is the notification system. So here's the lock screen. You'll see I have no notifications there. Standard iPhone because I've already unlocked my phone. And you'll see I have a bunch of badges though. So the badges indicate I have notifications. So when I pull down the status bar now in iOS 11, you'll see none of them show up, but you'll see earlier today. So you can now swipe up and see recent earlier today ones that you might have already seen or you might not have. And as you can tell, they are not grouped. Unfortunately, I really wish they could just group notifications that would make things a lot easier. Obviously yours might not be this cluttered. I just posted something on Instagram and it's a little cluttered, but uh, if you have maybe an email, a Twitter notification, Instagram, text message, missed phone call, that's five right there, and it just adds up. And if you maybe you have two emails, that just clutters it up and really doesn't get you to see what you is very important. Anyways, and you also can't swipe away these notifications. You have to 3D touch on it and press an X to individually get rid of specific notifications. So kind of a little unfortunate. I do like 3D touch in general. Uh, to see more information, you can go to view post or close out of it, but I really wish there was some sort of way to quickly swipe away specific notifications instead of just swiping to the right for the camera and the left to get to those widgets as well. So essentially the pull down bar is now your lock screen. So as you can tell, when I swipe down, it goes to my notifications here, those recent ones, and if I swipe over, it goes to the camera, but if I go to my lock screen, it has the exact same uh, menu. So if I go to the left, there's my widgets. If I go to the right, there's my camera. If I, if I swipe up, it goes to my notifications right there. So it is essentially the lock screen now, that pull down bar. Now, in my opinion, I don't mind these badge icons. I just wish there were icons up top. So when I'm in an app, I can tell if I have any specific notifications. When I'm in any app, I can't tell if I maybe missed a notification or something like that. Uh, that's just a personal preference of mine. And I just think the notification system on Android is a lot better. This might be a little bit improved from a uh, previous version of iOS but it's definitely not where it needs to be. Next up is another big update, and that is to your control center down at the bottom. Now, I am a fan of the notifications being up at the top and the specific controls being at the bottom. It's nice that they're being separate. I actually prefer that over Android. Anyways, you'll see here, it, it just has an overhaul in the aesthetics of it. So 3D Touch is still in play. So if I 3D Touch on these icons, you'll see even more pop up. So you have personal hotspot, AirDrop, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode and cell data. And this is where you can just toggle them on and off. So you see tapping on it just turns it on and off very quickly. Uh, even Wi-Fi on and off, tap out of it to get back to your control center. Same with music. If you're playing a specific song, you can change the volume when you 3D touch into it. Now these are very easy to control. You swipe up and down for volume control and brightness up and down. So it's very easy. And of course you can 3D touch on it as well to get a little bit further in to uh, switch to night shift if you'd like a little bit more warmer light, you can do that on the fly. Um, and then of course you can 3D touch on volume as well, but it just brings up a little bit bigger bar. 3D touching screen mirroring brings up a list of all the options you have. These are just toggles for auto rotate and then do not disturb. You have your flashlight, very similar. You have three, three uh, levels of the flashlight to get it brighter or darker. And then of course you have your timer, which you can 3D touch for a certain time. Calculator as well, copy last result. Camera, take selfie, record 
slow-mo video, portrait, or you can just tap on all of these to actually access the camera there, or if I wanted to swipe, whoops, looks like it rebooted. And of course, it is a beta. This is a good example. Uh, it is in beta, so you do are going to get some errors. Uh, as you can see, the spinning wheel of death just occurred. I came back. And another error I did notice is it takes a long time when you 3D touch on specific icons. So if I go to Safari and 3D touch on it, you'll see it just takes a little bit of time to register that 3D touch if it registers it at all. You'll see settings even took a bit of time. I'm pressing on it very hard and you'll see it just takes some time, but of course it's a beta, so just kind of keep that in mind. But you'll see if I just tap on the calculator, it will go into it. I do like the aesthetics of this and the overhaul of the uh, control panel. And speaking of our home screen, you can now add folders down in the dock. A really nice addition. This was uh, much needed and I don't think you were able to do that before. So very happy I can now throw that Google folder down in the dock and have them all ready to go. The messaging app got an update that is really neat. You can actually control specific apps within the messaging app. So if you go to Google Maps, you can share your location very quickly. Let's say I tap on Pandora, it's going to uh, open up specific songs. If I swipe over more, you'll see you have a lot of different options such as the App Store or just images in general. You can search for GIF GIFs or just pictures in general. Uh, Apple Music has an option where you can share songs. And then of course, when you are typing, if you're typing with one hand a lot and you press and hold on that uh, emoji icon, you can quickly shift the keyboard into a one-handed mode so you can use it um, one-handed and you'll see very easily reach all of the different keys. You just tap that arrow uh, to get rid of it. And then of course, you can put it over to the left as well if you're using your left hand. The App Store is getting a bit of an overhaul as well. So a new look to it, you'll see games, you have apps as well um, today. So a today page dedicated to collection, rule at road trips, app of the day, game of the day. Uh, so you see just a big overhaul to the app store in general that I guess hopefully help you find some more fun apps to play. Anyway, Siri, a bit of an update because you can now translate within Siri. How do you say let's go in Italian? Andiamo. Andiamo, there you go. So how about uh, French? How do you say let's go in French? How about in Spanish? Como? All right, so it looks like it translated how instead of the previous one. So it does not add on. So I'll have to say, how do you say let's go in Spanish? Vamos. All right, so you got vamos, you got on, on va and andiamo as well. So you'll see it has some added languages to translate and you can just quickly translate within Siri. And then of course, if you keep swiping up, it gives you suggestions on things you can do with Siri as well. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is that camera app because there's some new live photo effects and to activate those, you need to have live photo on. So you see my hand right here. I'm just gonna move it as I snap a picture just so I can get a live photo effect. And so now we go into that picture and you see it's a live photo. All you have to do is swipe up and you have a live option, a loop option. So it's going to just keep looping the live photo you have a, you'll see here, there's some previews of it. You have a bounce option and a long exposure. It's gonna look really weird with this specific one, but I know a lot of people that actually will like this uh, loop option. I think it's similar to that boomerang that a lot of people do. I'm not a big fan of it in general, but I do know a lot of people that will like it. So that is now an option. Bounce is another one, and then long exposure is gonna look really goofy, but I'm sure you can get some cool pictures out of it in the future. Of course, that is with live photos. And overall, that's pretty much it. That would be the iOS 11 beta. Just my impressions, some of the neat features, some of the noteworthy features. More to come once the official build comes out. I will definitely do an updated video. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, lots more coverage once the iPhone 8 comes out as well, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well.